If you're new here, welcome in. And if you know me, welcome back. So I've recently made a video saying how jealous I am of the Orlando Magic rebuild. So I'm gonna go into NBA 2K24 and try to make the Orlando Magic a dynasty that they really deserve. So without further ado, I'm gonna go to NBA 2K24. Let's get it. All right, so here's what our game plan is looking like right now. We had Markel Fultz at point guard, Jalen Suggs at shooting guard. Now the computer originally had Cole Anthony starting at shooting guard, and I wanted to switch that out. Uh, give us a little bit more defense in the backcourt. You have Wagner, you have Paolo Bancaro, of course, at the four. You have Wendell Carter Jr. at the five. Then Cole Anthony and Jonathan Isaac on the bench. Gary Harris, Mo Wagner. And then you have Joe Ingles, Anthony Black, obviously. So again, a great core of Paolo, Franz, and Suggs, and uh, Wendell Carter. And I'm interested to see how the Orlando Magic do this year. And I'm gonna bank on their defense being really good. So let's get into it. So in the first month, we have a trade offer already for D'Angelo Russell and Torian Prince for Jalen Suggs and Joel Ingles. I don't like this trade because we're not only thinking about this season, but we're thinking about the future as well. They're going to decline that, but we are starting three and six and then we get a first round top probably protected for Batum for Carter. No, I don't need that. I don't need any of these trade requests at all. Desmond Bain, no. We got great things coming. Desmond Bain's, a, Desmond Bain's a great player, but we do not need this right now. See how see how the Orlando Magic are treated right now? We are five and thirteen currently. Six and fourteen. The Orlando Magic are currently like fourth in the East right now, but in 2K land, they're not that good. Now, what 2K is not getting right is just how good this Orlando Magic defense is in real life, and it's not being put to video game form. But they are getting how bad this offense is. It's one. It's a second worst offense in the league, and I do not know how we're gonna make up for video game defense. But you have here Suggs, a perimeter defense, A, Fultz, A, Palo, B, Wagner, B. Offense is where we've been struggling, honestly. But I feel like this offense isn't that bad. I just don't understand what's happening here. Let's go into January and see what happens. All right, loss to the Celtics, loss to the Cavs. Loss to the Celtics by two, though. We played the Celtics three times in two weeks. Okay, beat the Celtics that time. So we're eight or nine and 17. Oh, Wendell Carter breaks his left wrist. So I'll we'll have the computer adjust the rotation, but I'm not sure what the rotation looks like now. They subbed in Mo Wagner instead of uh, Goga Batadze, which I don't think that's a, that's a real life. That's not a real life move. I think they would put in Goga because they would, that's what they did this season. Now the Pistons have offered Jalen Duran and Simone Fontecchio for Franz Wagner and Joe Ingles. And I'm not taking that. That's a tempting offer though. Really tempting. And then KCP and Zeke Naji for Cole Anthony. I don't think the Nuggets would ever make that deal in real life. But here we have, again, this team is way better in real life than they are in the video game. And it's really interesting to see. We're getting a lot of tempting trade offers, but there's nothing that I want right now in terms of turning this core around. Now, a lot of people are asking to trade for Wagner, and I'm just 100% not with it. And let's go see in the February because we're 12 and 28 right now and this is this current season where the magic are actually pretty good all right loss to the Hawks loss to the Sixers loss to the Heat loss to the Hawks loss to the Sixers loss to the Heat beat the Cavs loss to the Grizzlies you get a trade offer of Clint Capella for no I don't want Clint Capella that's not who why would I want that right now Hodo and quickly for no I don't no Jonathan Isaac is way better Jonathan Isaac is way better than the video game says. I really don't understand why he's rated that low. It might be because of like he's coming off the vid injury, but that's not that fair to me. No, I don't want any Franz Wagner trades. I'm not making any moves. The only moves I'm going to be making is like with the draft and with free agency, honestly. But we're 16 and 39, but that's with like Wendell Carter Jr. is still kind of hurt. And Franz and Paolo, this team, bro. I'm very intrigued as to what's happening here. 2K is just not giving their defense any credit. And we're power ranked 28th. Yes, let's see what the contract extensions are gonna look like. All right, Fultz will resign. 
So we got Fultz on three years, 14. And then uh, Jonathan Isaac will resign. So we'll get him two years, nine million for Jonathan Isaac. That's a, that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. So I guess the bright side of this is that we get a really high draft pick. But again, this team shouldn't need that right now. This is like reverse Detroit. This is the Detroit Pistons, it feels like. Yeah, this team is so deep into a rebuild, but then the team isn't that good. But this team has actually won 24 games. So they're not the worst, but they're pretty far back in the conference. They're 14th in the conference right now. Here I have the University of Houston uh, shooting shirt. They have shirts, hats, sweatpants, whatever you can think of. They also have so many colleges. And if they don't have your college, you can reach out to them and they'll try to get that license too. If you want to get some Home Field Apparel merch, go to homefieldapparel.com. And if you want 15% off, go to Kofi15 for 15% off your order. All right, back to the video. So with our lottery odds, we're projected to go second this year, which wild. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets though for not uh, doing that well either. <laughs> But again, like it's wild to see 28 wins, 28 and 54. OK, Luca, most valuable player, obviously. Victor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Trey Young first team. Nice. And team stats. This, the Orlando Magic had the third worst offense in the league, scoring wise. And then a pretty not top 10 defense, but a top 14 defense which wasn't gonna do well anyway. A big problem with our team is that we do not have the shooters right now. We're averaging 32% from the three-point line as a team, which is frankly unacceptable. But we're one of the top rebounding teams in the league, which is hilarious. So we're eighth in rebounding. Uh, how about assists? Well, we're pretty bad in assists because again, if no one's making shots, it's hard to assist on shots. But let's see. How we're doing steals wise we're top 10 in steals what about blocks blocks we're bottom 10 in blocks the turnovers nope just middle of the road and turnovers right there fouls per game middle of the road points off turnovers we don't allow that many points off of turnovers but let's check the player stats for this year and we're gonna see how paulo did and we're gonna do per game nope. per game paulo 21 8 and 4 Wagner, I wish to see a little bit more impact, 16, 5, and 4. With Franz, I wish I saw a little bit more impact, 16, 5, and 4. Uh, Fultz, 14, 3, and 4. Suggs, interesting. Yeah, I want a little, a little bit more production from like everybody here, <laughs> honestly. But it is what it is, and yeah, that's fine. Let's check the awards one more time to see... Let's see if Isaac was an all defensive team. Nope, he wasn't, but Asar Thompson was interesting. So nobody on the all defensive team here for second team. First team, nope. Nobody on the Magic. All NBA third team, nobody. Second team, nobody. Nope, not most improved. All right, Clippers one seed. Milwaukee is the one seed on the other side. We're gonna simulate the playoffs. And Cleveland, New York, Milwaukee, straight up sweep. Oof. Now let's see, Milwaukee and the Trailblazers are here? What did the Trailblazers, how did the Trailblazers get here? They're not supposed to be this good this fast. What did they, who did they trade for? I don't trust this at all. Malcolm Brogdon, Anthony Simon, Shaden Sharp, Jabari Walker, DeAndre Ayton, Robert Williams. This team is a four seed, really 2K. This team's a four seed, but the Orlando Magic are one of the worst teams in the game. Got it, okay, cool. All right. So the Clippers, obviously, 2K loves the Clippers, but Kawhi Leonard is hurt, isn't he? Incredible. What's he hurt with? Oh, it says no injuries, but he had a pinched nerve in his back. They're eliminated anyway, but what about the Nuggets? The five seed that got eliminated by Portland? Sure, for sure, for sure. And the Bucks win in five. Thanks to Giannis and Dame. Yep. All right. So now who's retiring? LeBron retires. That's big. Uh, Kevin Love retires. Yeah, okay. Now let's go to the lottery here because we have top three odds to win the lottery. All right. So Raptors are number seven, number six, the Jazz. All right. Okay. We're top five secured for the Magic. 
the Wizards are top five. That means Spurs are moving to the top two. The Spurs got another top two pick. Bro, okay. No. Oh, top four. Oh man, should we trade up? Now this draft isn't this draft isn't that strong anyway, right? We can probably get Alex Sar. We can probably get Alex Sar at four, maybe. Depends on depends on what we're thinking. Depends on what Minnesota's thinking. Minnesota wins the number one pick. Interesting. Yeah, Jamal Mosley, great coach. Glad he got that extension. All right, let's just go to the NBA draft here. Timberwolves select. Oh, Alex Sar, crap. Wanted him. Cody Williams from Colorado for number two pick, the number three pick. I'll be honest, I don't know who that is, bro. And we've received 21 offers for our pick. All right, let's look at all these offers. Clint Capella, AJ Green, no. DeRozan? We'll circle back. The thing about DeRozan is he's expensive. He's $35 million. I, I'm not going to fall for DeRozan because he's 34 also. It doesn't fit the timeline. Buffkin, Richard and Williams, Collins, and nope. No, 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 Nas Reed, but these are expirings. All these are not tasty deals here. There's nothing, ooh. This would buff up Orlando's defense, but I think he also gets in the way of Wagner and all of them. But then again, so does like all of these deals. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep the pick and then a toe pitch. All right, let's see what the projections are. Off the dribble, excellent on-ball defender. Interesting. Look, if Orlando's just going to draft six, nine dudes that can defend, I think that Zachary is going to fit in just fine. Hall of Fame. Uh, On-ball steals, cutting and passing lane. Let's see. Our point guard is Fultz. He's a shooting guard. He's 6'6". Six, six. With a 6'10 wingspan. This is interesting, man. I don't know who to pick. Ron Holland, ceiling LeBron James. What? Great on ball defender that puts in the hearts. Can take guys off the dribble. Doesn't have much three point shooting ability. Okay, let's see. Offense. But his ceiling is LeBron James, bro. Y'all know how wild that sounds. Can I afford to pass on a LeBron James ceiling? I am very tempted. Inside scoring, three-point scoring, playmaking, premier defense. Let's see. Playmaking, three-point scoring. Again, not another, sh no shooter here. Ron Holland, potential, B minus. Oof. Athleticism off the charts. I'm going to go with Ron Holland. We will, we will have that identity. Zach Eady goes fifth. Interested to see how Zach Eady does in the NBA in real life. What's our next pick here? 30 33rd okay we can just sim this now sar his uh oh they don't have the draft now rookie signings of course ron holland's two years 18 million brawny but brawny's a 71 overall we're gonna decline that buddy because lebron already retired and you're not he's not the package deal that we thought was gonna happen so there it is team player options paulo obviously Jesus, Paul George. Um, the thing about the Magic is that we're actually pretty cheap right now. Let's see how much cap we have. Renounce rights to Gary Harris. This all looks correct. This all look that all looks correct to me. Do I want Goga still? I want to keep a hold of Goga, and then we're gonna get rid of Gary Harris and see where we go from there. So we have $9 million in cap space and then 12 million in cap hold. But let's see our roster here. We have all these players right here. We really don't need to be active in free agency. I'm interested to see how Paolo and Franz and Suggs improve uh, player progression wise. But as of right now, I still have to make a move, right? I have to make some kind of move. Let's see here. Um, Suggs. We probably need it. We probably could use another shooting guard for sure. And then everything else. Shooting guard, maybe a center. Uh, let's see the affordable shooting guards. Luke Kennard. I could go for a Luke Kennard. I'd go for some Luke Kennard. And then at center, Andre Drummond, Miles Plumley, Kevon Looney. 
Let's see, inside defense. I can I can do Drummond. That's fine. Luke Kennard signs. Andre Drummond signs. Is there anyone else that I could have? Gary Harris for welcoming back Gary Harris for like the minimum sounds fine. And then Fontecchio. If we can get Fontecchio, that would be sick. Oh, we got some we got Fontecchio? Dude, dude, the Pistons really let Fontecchio walk. That's crazy. We got Fontecchio, bro. We got Fontecchio, bro. That's nuts. Did not think the Pistons would let him walk. But again, it's the Pistons. They have no idea what they're doing. I think that's a good haul. That's a good haul. Player projection. Palo, 88, 85. Markel Fultz. Where's Fontecchio at? 77. This is a solid team. All right, let's see what our rotation looks like right now. Is Fontecchio playing? Oh my God, Fontecchio is not even playing. Dude, I feel really bad because Fontecchio deserves minutes for sure. You know what? Actually, play Fontecchio should be playing over Wagner. Wagner, you get Fontecchio, you get all of Wagner's minutes for sure. Holland's not playing either. Oh boy, we had a top, we got a top five pick. Just to not really need him at this moment, which sucks. Am I really going to pull a Monty Williams and play 11 players? Let me see how the rotation looks now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play 11 players and not Jonathan Isaac. Bro, what is what are these rotations, bro? I don't like this at all. 2K is not giving Jonathan Isaac credit for how good he actually is. And it kind of sucks. The Magic have too many good players right now in terms of people that need to play, which is fine, but I think we're going to be a better team for it. Okay, yeah. Okay, four and one, five and one. There we go. There we go. Six and one, seven and one. Jaron Jackson Jr. and Gigi Jackson for Palo and Window. No, this will be played for. Eight and one. See, it only took a season, I guess, for the Magic to actually turn the corner in 2K. I hope. Okay, 12 and 4, 12 and 5. Let's see if we beat Luca. Oh no. Actually, let me pause here and look at the landscape of the league here. So we got Palo, Franz, yep. Luca, Kyrie, Derek Lively. Mikhail Bridges goes to the Mikhail Bridges, James Harden, and Cam Thomas on the net. So James Harden goes back to Brooklyn. Interesting development. Uh Jokic, Murray, Gordon. Mm, cool. Jesus. Malik Monk and Nas Rigo, the Pacers. Interesting developments. Kay Cunningham, Jaden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quentin, Gr yep. Royce O'Neal and Ben Simmons go to the Detroit Pistons. Why did the Pistons take on Ben Simmons' contract? This is so confusing to me, actually. I'm actually very confused at this. Probably some salary floor stuff or whatnot. All right, Raptors. Barnes, Siakam, Barrett. Okay, so in this reality... So in this reality, the Toronto Raptors signed Siakam again because he was a pacer and he goes back to Canada. Okay, let's see. Umbanyama, who did they? Okay, so the San Antonio Spurs get Bol Bol and Tobias Harris. In addition to Cody Williams, their second round pick. James Wiseman joins the Phoenix Suns. Chet and Shea, bro, they're going to give us problems for real. That's a team I'm going to be really afraid of, honestly. The Timberwolves don't have the cap space for Towns, so they had to make something else happen. So I guess the Timberwolves traded Towns and then got the number one pick because of it. Interesting. So that means that they traded Towns to a not good team. I'm gonna guess the Washington Wizards. That looks all right. Okay, so Towns is not on the Wizards. So the Wizards are still bad in this scenario. And Jordan Poole, oh, he's hurt. Okay, I was like, Jordan Poole's missing, no. Um, Embiid, Maxi Towns is a sixer. Okay, interesting. Luke Kennard did not take my offer. He's a sixer. Okay, all right. Clint, Cape Clint Capella joins the Bucks. I don't like that fit at all. Where's Brook Lopez? Levine, Vucevic, Ball, DeRozan. It seems like the Bulls did not learn their lesson and did not blow anything up this entire time. Okay, Mitchell, Mobley, Garland, Allen, Lavert. Yep, that's fair. And the Celtics kept their their starting five. Mm, the Clippers losing Kawhi, the Clippers losing James Harden and Russell Westbrook. What it looks like. So it looks like 
maybe Kawhi Leonard and Paula George might be out, but they're not worth trading for on my team. I guess they're not worth trading for it. Trey Young is still on the Hawks. A Trey Young magic trade could be possible. I think it could be possible. I think it's doable to trade Trey Young. I definitely think Trey Young is available. I definitely think we have the pieces to do it. No offers found. Oh, because he's expensive. Now, this team is 13 and 6, but I do want this team to be like better, better, you know? Brandon Miller and no. Actually, shout out to Brandon Miller for being this good this fast in the in the sim. All right, beat the Sixers. Beat this. Oh, lost to the Sixers. Lost to the Bucks. Ooh, losing streak. Losing streak. Four, five, four games. Five game losing streak. Six game losing streak. What? What's happening? What happened? Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. We're good here, but no, I guess it's just a losing streak. They want. Why do they want Wagner to play 31 minutes? Why is Carter Jr. that bad right now? Carter Jr. is also pissed. He's heated with how things are going. But why? Can't believe we've made Wendell Carter Jr. mad, bro. That upsets me. Now, at least we're playing Holland some minutes, which is fine. But I don't want to piss off Carter Jr. What have we done? Okay, we're third in the East, which is, which is fine. But we could be a little bit better. Now, let's check out our stats for this team stats we are the we're mid offense and mid defense too okay okay so we're third in the east by having a negative 1.3 point differential so this team is technically mid right now and it's the second worst three-point shooting team in the league oh man oh god okay we're losing again 17 17 and 15 now oh it's bad 17 and 17 is a Trey Young trade possible? Do we have to make a trade right now? That's what I'm looking at right now, what I'm looking at, because there's so many good players available. First of all, Mo Wagner can go. Jonathan Isaac and Mo, oh, I can't trade John. Oh, I can trade Jonathan Isaac. Might trade Fontecchio, honestly, or Wendell. I can trade Wendell. Mo Wagner and Wendell Carter Jr. for, if I'm able to shorten up the rotation, that could be nice, but if not, then we're just, this is just all we have. I think it's fine. We're six in the East now. People keep wanting Bancaro and he's not for sale. Bancaro is just not available. Okay, we're back to our winning ways, 23 and 17. Six game winning streak, seven games, eight game winning streak. All right, there we go. We might have gotten our swagger back. Nine, 10, something interesting has happened, 11. A right, 12 game winning streak. Oh, I thought we had 12 games. All right, loss, win. Okay, now we're back to 30 and 19. That 12 game winning streak was huge. And I want to understand why. We had we had Jet Howard, Gary Harris injured, Jonathan Isaac, Fontecchio hurt, Mo Wagner hurt, Drummond hurt, Cole Anthony cracked his neck vertebrae. Oh, so we're missing Cole Anthony. That's what's happened here. Nope, he's there. He's back. I guess he was out last year. Suggs is hurt. Okay, interesting. Carter Jr. and Suggs are hurt, which sucks. But what is Suggs hurt? Day-to-day -day pulled. Okay, they're, so they'll be back. I think we're fine right now. Yeah. We've built a team that can like we can chug along and be fine. 32 and 19. So we're not a bad team. That's the thing. 37. Let's see the contract extensions here. Wendell Carr Jr. will test free agency. He's done with us. And Houston will not. Well, you don't have to. You can. You don't have to go, bro. You, you don't have to stay. All right. So we might get 50 wins out of this. Yep. 40. Nope. That's bad. Well, so 50 wins off the table. But we're second in the East, which is great. Now, I just want to make sure that everyone's just healthy. By the time the playoffs happen, 47, 48, 40, 49, 48. Okay, second place, Luca back to back MVPs. Bronny James, rookie of the year. What? Who's a 71 overall? You're telling me Bronny James is the rookie of the year? Y'all are y'all dead ass? All right, so first team. Nope, no, no magic on the all NBA team. No magic on the all defensive team. Ron Holland, second team all rookie, which is great. 
Now for the coaching, for the playoffs, we got to get, okay, we got Jalen Suggs as the point guard, starting point guard, interesting. And then we'll probably start, we'll probably play nine people in the play, eight or nine people in the playoffs. Yeah, we'll play eight or nine. Now we want to be, we want to be aggressive. We're an aggressive defense, all right? We need to play that way. All right, now Palo, yeah, this is playoff. These are playoff minutes. All right, Mo. Dang, Wendell Carter Jr. riding the bench. I never thought we'd get here, but I do think that it's for the best. We play the Pacers, yep. Albert and Matherin, Walker, Turner. Okay, let's simulate this round, see if we can get some win. Okay, okay. Orlando, now we have Miami. Do we got playoff Jimmy? Carlton Care. who is, who are these people? Then you got DeRozan playing the four. Oh my God, is this, if this is not the most heat culture, this is the most heat culture, a hero or her heat, this is the most heat culture playoff series, bro. And we went in five. Okay, I thought that, I thought that we were about to get playoff jimmied out of here. All right, so now we have the Magic and the Bucks. Wonder how we deal with Giannis. Oh, we make the finals. We make the final oh, Thunder Magic. Oh, please, dude. Let me let me view the box scores for this because Ron Holland breakout game. That's crazy. All right. I'm excited for the next season then. All right. So game one, we lost because Paolo tried everything and then Ron Holland played at one minute, which is wild. Okay. Don't know why Ron Holland just only got one minute. That's not what we it's not what we discussed, coach. All right. Game two, Ron Holland gets 17 minutes. So, no, Ron Holland gets 31 minutes in game two. Okay, so playing Ron Holland is a great idea. Now, next we have game three. We have the Magic winning out. Ron Holland, 27 and three. Allo, 21, 12 and five. Car yep. Carter Jr., 24 and one, even though, even though he doesn't like us at all right now. He's pissed at us. Beating the Bucks by 33, thanks to Suggs. Bancaro, Carter Jr., yep, yep. And then game five, Paolo again. Franz Wagner's hurt, isn't he? Oh, no. Yeah, because Franz Wagner's not here. Okay, let's see what let's see what the roster is because Franz Wagner is hurt. Franz Wagner is out for the season, broken right ankle. Can we win this finals without Franz? Okay, we win game one, okay. Thunder win game two. Magic win game three. Magic win game four. Okay, let's see. Thunder win game two. Oh, it's going seven, bro. All right, please, please, please. Oh, dude, that's brutal. Oh, let's see what happened here. Game seven. One by, oh, perfect time for a Palo Bancaro stinker, a fault stinker. Ron Holland, nine for 24. You're a rookie, buddy. You're a rookie. Ah. All right, Chris Paul, Andre Iguodala, Mike Conley, Al Horford retire. Draymond retires. Interesting. All right. Now, the Magic thing, I think the Magic have a pick. No, they don't. I thought the Magic had a pick. Magic had the 24th pick. All right, so we picked Hugo Gonzalez and Bam. Sure, we'll pick both of them. Now, team option, Palo accepts. Yep, accept that. You can go. Jet Howard also can go here but we're gonna accept anthony black for sure losing in the finals is bruh now yes we're gonna extend qualifying offers for both of them we want that cap hold cap hold yes 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 we want to keep both of them we cannot we cannot let them both walk yeah they're okay i'm waiting i'm just waiting for those offers for them is anyone gonna offer them we're on day six seven nope nothing day eight eight Nothing. All right. Day nine. Nothing. Day tw 10. Nothing. Day 11. Nothing. Day 12. Nothing. Yes. So we got Franz Wagner for 9 million and Jalen Suggs for 12. So nobody offered them, which is sick. So then the progression, we got Wagner, Suggs, Bancaro's hurt. Sore left knee out for the season. Ah. And then we got... I'm waiting to see how Ron Holland does. Oh, he doesn't. He didn't progress because he's hurt. Oh, that sucks. Okay, this is the last season we're going to get into. 
See if we can top that finals performance. All right, so we're trotting out. Well, I think we're trotting out the same game plan here. Suggs, Anthony, Wagner, Bankero. Holland's hurt now, right now, as of this moment. So I think that the roster is gonna be a little bit different later. So I'm gonna play 10 right now. Now let's see the landscape of the, okay. Luca, Kyrie, Gafford. The Nets suck. Harden falling off. Jeremy Grant. Oh no. Buddy. Jokic, Porter Jr. Jamal Murray is gone. Interesting. Albert and Jalen Green. Mather and Turner. Well, that's a Pacers offense right there. High flying. Zion, Brandon Ingram, Herb Jones, Murphy, McCollum, Daniels. The Pelicans have kind of stayed unscathed here. Jaden Ivy. K. Cunningham is gone. Oh no. Where is he, guys? Where is he? Scotty Barnes, Barrett, Podal, Shingoon, Dwight Smith Jr., N. Thompson. Yep, yep. Wembenyama, Cooper Flag, and Wembenyama. That's crazy. And the and the Spurs still don't have a point guard. Booker, Durant, Vucevic. Okay. Shea, Chet, Jalen. What a crazy championship window. And they got OG and a new. Oh my God, this team. This team is going to ruin every sim. Anthony Edwards, Kaminga. Did, that, did, the Timberwolves just, did the Timberwolves get Ben Simmons? That's Ben Simmons right there for two years, 26 million. Okay, interesting. Jaden Sharp. Steph Curry with John Collins. Kevin Herter. Kay Cunningham on the Wizards. What? For Kay Cunningham, Bilal, Denny, Kuzma Pool. If Kay Cunningham goes to the Wizards in real life, I would absolutely scream because he doesn't deserve that. Philadelphia and beat Maxi Towns. Giannis. Giannis is only like, he'll only be 30. That's nuts. Kobe White, Zach Levine, Yusuf Nurkic. Mm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, Tatum, Brown, Porzingis, White, Drew Holiday. They're still together. Interesting. Leonard and George, Morant and Jackson, Young and Murray, Butler and Bam. LaMelo Ball, Jamal Murray, and Pascal Siakam, Brandon Miller. Okay, the Hornets made some moves here. De'Aaron Fox, Sabonis, yep. Brunson Randall, DiVincenzo. The Lakers are just whatever, and then it's us. Okay. I don't know, man. I think that last season was our best season there. Honestly. Okay, Isaiah Joe for Anthony Black. No, 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 no. Okay, we start off 4-1. Bobby Porter's Jr. and Ant for Bank Carroll. No, why would we do that? Okay, seven and five, eight and five. Let's go. Wins back, wins back. Eleven and five. Is is Ron Holland back? Yes, he is so back. Alrighty. Okay, Window Card Jr. How is he doing? He probably is pissed at us. Is Window Card Jr. pissed? I feel like he should be the starter. There's no reason why Andre Drummond should start. I do not understand. I do not get the methodology here. Yeah, Wendell Carter Jr. should start for sure, which is fine with the rotation. This is a fine rotation playing seven. It's a nice balanced rotation, too. I just don't think Andre, I also don't think Andre Drummond should start. I think that's very fair. All right, 14 and five. They okay, lost to the Celtics. This is Lonzo Ball. No, we don't want Lonzo Ball. I was like, is that Lamelo in a first? No, it's not. 15 and 8. All right. We are 19 and 10. And we're getting some good trade offers, but nothing that really moves me. And at the end of December, we blew out the Hawks too. Now, we're first power ranking wise right now. And I want to see why that is. So the Magic right now have... Oh, sorry. We have a... So the Magic have the best defense in the league easily. And then a, a bottom 10 offense. There we go. But we have the number one defense in the league by far with a very high point differential. So I'm very excited to see that. Now our three point shot is really bad, but our defense is good. You see, it took a while, but it took a while for 2K to realize how good we were defensively, which is nice. Trade offer still for Fonz Wagner, but we're not going to do that. But look how good that defense is. 30 and 13. 31 and 13. Everyone's trying to trade with us, but we're not doing it. 
everyone's trying to trade for Bancaro. Like he's not our corner piece and not making this happen. Like he's not making this all happen, bro. That's crazy. And we are winning games. Now they're offering BAM for, oh, no, no, I don't want to trade. It's not the whole point. Let's see who was a what, rising stars. Nah, let's see who was the, okay. Bancaro was an all-star. There we go. Love that. Dust Bancaro. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, see, 40 and 15. This is the team that was promised, honestly. If this is not the year, I hope it's the year. Oh, let's see contract extensions because we got to get ahead of that. Eligible. Wendell Carter Jr. will not resign with us. Okay. Waltz will resign. Two years, 13. Yes. Oh, Anthony. Two years, 13. Yes. All right. Nice. Isaac. Isaac will resign for the minimum. We love that. That's like well, the best contract in the NBA right now. And we're still winning, bro. 46. I think you're going to get 50 games here. Easily 48, 49, 50. Now, the cool thing about this Orlando Magic simulation is that I don't have to do much to make this team good. Like this team is already good. That's the crazy part. I just had to do like a little bit of like tinkering. And honestly, tanking that first season made our team this much better. That's fine. 58 wins. Jokic the MVP. Cooper flag. Manual quickly. Yep. Yep. Okay. Trey Young, clutch player of the year. Now let's see if Palos any NBA. No third. Oh my God. No for a second or third team, bro. Forever underrated. There no, there's no all rookie second team. That's funny. I've never seen that. Um, now let's check the stats. Okay, Palo, 25, 8, and 5, Wagner. I think the thing about this Orlando Magic team is that they're so deep. They're so deep and versatile. I think that that's what's happening right now. And the power rankings, us and the Magic, Thunder Magic, we're so good. We have such a good point difference. We have such a good defense. That's the thing. We have the best defense in the league. And we have a pretty bad offense which sucks but defense wins championships i guess and we have one of the worst three-point shooting we get to the line not that much i don't know all right so number one seed okay let's see oh it's the sixers with oh my god so it's just Embiid, paul reed what happened to towns what happened to maxi maxi and towns are both hurt no maxi, no towns. Now look who on our side. We're I think we're all healthy. We're all healthy. When do we get Kentavious called Will Pope? Okay. I remember that. Um yeah, it's an easy sweep. There's nothing MB can do about that. Alright, now the Pacers might be a little bit of trouble. Let's see how we do with them. Okay, got that. Easy. One and six. Now Toronto. Kessler, Scotty Barnes. Ronnie James, Jacopotl. I think we still should have this in the bag. Wendell Carter Jr. hurt. Wendell Carter Jr. is hurt, but I think we still have this. Oh, we lost in seven to Bronny. Come on, bro. And Nuggets win the championship. Yep, that's valid. Oh, dude, we were so close, bro. That's that's wild. Anyway, y'all, thank you guys for watching the end of the video. Feel free to follow me, like, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And tell me what other Sims you guys want to do next. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.